Okay, welcome back everyone. So today we have a problem from the... I'm told this is from the 42 points MO. Which is you have a odd positive integer m, and you want to show this infinitely many n such that mn plus 1 divides 2 to the n minus 1. That's a whole statement. 42 points MO is probably some mock contest, but I'm not familiar with who's the organizer. Okay, so what do I do? Why is that odd? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Why am I plus one? Oh, let's see. I have a bad idea. I don't really want to do it. Well, I need to know, like, the thing is, MN plus 1, I don't have good control over its prime factors, is the thing. Um, like, what can, I, what can I make that? Like, MN plus 1 is like a power of something? Is that a thing I can do? I guess that is a thing I can do. Uh, if MN plus 1 is like... I hit it. Uh. So if I make nn plus 1 equal to a power of something, what would that look like? Um, let, let's say like... I, I need to pick letters. R to the T. These are, these are terrible letters. Okay, so then you would want R to the T to divide uh, 2 to the r to the t minus 1 over m minus 1. The problem is if r is divisible by any prime. Like, like suppose I picked r to be prime, right? Uh... And then, whoa, Twitch has a reply feature now? This doesn't work, right? Okay, so here's the thing I was thinking of. <laughs> so consider- <laughs> Alright, you know what? Screw it. We're bringing out the big guns! Yeah! <laughs> consider one mod, one mod R M primes. P. We want- What do we want? Um, 2 to the P minus 1 over M minus 1. So... Um, P... So... <laughs> Theorem, Chebel, Terra, Density. I don't actually remember exactly how this theorem goes. <laughs> but basically it should tell me that this will work among such primes, it will work about 1 over m of the time. <gasps> I'm such a bad person. Oh no. Okay, so in order to apply Chebel, Terra, Density, I first need to... Um, Yeah, I didn't know this. When was the supply feature added? That's so cute. <laughs> I need to think about which extension I'm looking at. The extension is definitely Q adjoin uh, the mth root of unity. mth root of 2. This is, this is a number field. Okay, so now I have to remember how this how this garbage works. Oh my god. <laughs> can I can I look at my own textbook? I don't remember how this works anymore. Napkin.html. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I haven't touched this stuff in so long. Also, wasn't this problem supposed to be easy? So this, anyways, this is another field. Um, we're going to call it E because it's the intermediate field. Because this field is not Galois, but it's contained in some splitting field. So Q is a subset of E, which is the nth root of 2, which is a subset of some splitting field K, which is potentially of degree up to like M factorial-ish. Let G be the Galois group of K over Q. And oh, crap. Hmm. I don't know if this works if M is not prime. Um what are we looking at? Uh, no, it's a degree M extension. It should be okay. What what do I want to be true? I need two to be an mth power, right? So. We are hoping that the polynomial x to the m minus 2 factors Don't you just need 2 to be a not very- yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Um, we are hoping this thing splits completely modulo p. Will g be the Galois group? Uh, Chabal density tells me that for any element in the Galois group, I can get it infinitely often. Um... Shoot. <laughs> I think this only works if M is prime. <laughs> So what I need is the Galois group will, an element in the Galois group of G will permute the roots of x to the m minus 2. In order for it to split completely, I need it to act as the identity. Um, so let, let me see what this theorem is. Uh, but the, the version that I want is there are infinitely many primes p such that Oh, for each sigma in G, there are infinitely many primes p such that the Frobenius above p coincides with sigma. So, unfortunately, I don't know what the Galois group looks like, and this might come to bite me. Uh shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, sorry, I'm stupid. Okay, yes, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> So, okay, so in particular, there are infinitely many primes p. So, so primes p such that the Frobenius above p is the identity element of the Galois group, and hence x to the m minus 2 will split completely. All right, we did it! Life. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right. We did it. <laughs> Okay, so also, where is this problem from? Someone said it's not from 42 points MO. It is. Okay, can someone post a link so I can eat the problem? Uh, you know, I will... I guess I write this up? I, this would be a good prompt to add to the napkin. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did I miss a shout out? I was too busy eating. Shout out to 42 points MO for making hard level 3 Olympiads, but super easy level 1 Olympiads. No link? Aww. Do you think this is an easy Olympiad style solution? I mean, probably. I just don't know what it is. Okay, that's too bad. Okay, right up, right up, everybody do right up. Okay, we so we will restrict our attention to primes p to to n such that m n plus one equals p. Prime. In other words, we are hoping for he divides 2 to the p minus 1 over m minus 1. This is equivalent to, in fact, so in fact we will show, are going to prove there are infinitely many primes p such that x to the m minus 2 splits completely. For this, it's sufficient to let e equals q adjoin uh, m3 of 2. Let k be its Galois closure and use Frobenius Note, use the following theorem. Triple tariff density. Um, for any sigma in gal k q, there are infinitely many primes p. Um, well, okay, let me... is obtained by the correct density of primes. It's, it's obtained as the Frobenius above P for For a density above P primes. For a density uh, C over Okay, so in particular there are infinitely many primes P such that the Frobenius above P is the identity element. which solves the problem. Okay.